So there's this thing, it's called volcano surfing. It's a sport in which an individual rides down an active volcano at speeds up to 50 miles per hour using nothing but a, a wooden board. When I first heard about this activity, I thought to myself, it must be nice to feel so safe you have to invent new ways to put yourself in danger. <laughs> when the body thinks it may be swallowing its last breath. The adrenal glands release hormones into the blood. The skin becomes a cocktail of sweat and fear. The heart gets claustrophobic. The lungs become newlyweds holding hands in a crashing airplane. This is called an adrenaline rush. I was about 18 when I started driving. I was about 18 the first time I was pulled over. The officer spilled his lights all over my rearview mirror. He splashed out of his car with his hand already on his weapon. He looked at me the same way a tsunami looks at a beach house, and I could tell that he's the kind of man who brings a gun to a food fight. He called me son, and I thought to myself, that's an interesting way of pronouncing boy. He asked for my license, registration, wants to know what I'm doing in this neighborhood, if the car is stolen, if I have any drugs. And most days, y'all, I know how to grab my voice by the handle. I know how to swing it like a hammer, but Instead, I picked it up like a shard of glass, scared of what might happen if I didn't hold on to it carefully because I know that this much melanin and that uniform is a plot line to a film that can easily end with a chalk outline baptism. Me trying to make a body bag look stylish for the camera and becoming the newest coat in a closet full of RIP hashtags. Once a friend of a friend, he asked me why there weren't more black people in the X Games and I said, you don't get it. Being black is one of the most extreme sports in America. See, we don't need to invent new ways of risking our lives because the old ones have been working for decades. Jim Crow may have left the nest, but our streets are still covered in its feathers. Being black in America is knowing there's a thin line between the traffic stop and the cemetery. It's the way my body tenses whenever I hear a police siren in a song. It's the quiver in my stomach whenever there's a cop car behind me. It's the sigh of relief when I turn right and he doesn't. Being black in America is knowing that you're not safe in a hoodie, a t-shirt, a tuxedo being black in America is knowing that you're not safe in a pool, in a church, in a classroom. Hell, I don't need to go volcano surfing because I have an adrenaline rush every time an officer drives past without pulling me over. And I realize I'm going to make it home safe. You know, this time, 